bad neighborhoods in San Diego to avoid. Now, for purpose of this video, it's important to provide context and some constructive information about each area. Here are five neighborhoods that have historically just received a bad rap and that maybe they face some challenges, you know, based on some general knowledge up to this point. But remember, conditions in neighborhoods can always change and areas that face challenges also have the potential for the most growth and improvement. So watch till the end and I'll provide my own take on all five. Number one, El Cajon. Amazing, robust, wide ranging area from custom estates up on the homes with the foothills and views all the way down to the water to the entry level condos down in the city. Now, while it has affordable housing options and a very diverse community, El Cajon's also faced challenges related to higher crime rates and educational outcomes compared to maybe some of the other similarly priced areas within San Diego County. Now, instead of El Cajon, consider like La Mesa or Santee. Santee's got more of a suburban feel. It's got maybe some more amenities, perhaps even a little less density in the urban sectors and some of the varying lifestyle options like Proximity to Mission Trails Park, which is some of the best for biking, hiking, just getting out, getting after it. Number two, National City, dripping with some of the most iconic character and historical architecture in the entire county and ideally located. National City is known for its strong sense of cultural community and also diversity, but also contends with industrial pollution concerns and some higher crime rates than some of the other neighboring areas. As an alternative to National City, check out Chula Vista. Offers a real family-friendly environment. It's got lower crime rates, tons of institutional growth with the development of the Bayfront over on the coast, and then the master plan communities to the east, like out in East Lake. Number three, City Heights. Vibrant and diverse neighborhood that's recently been on a growth tear with development pouring into the area. It's long been known as the most accessible of the affordable pockets in the heart of San Diego with great international cuisine, great community events, but it's also struggled with some higher crime rates and some lower median incomes. For those reconsidering City Heights, maybe check out North Park or, or Golden Hill because it might offer a vibrant community also with some better crime statistics. Walkability is also a huge feature of living in the heart of San Diego's uptown, downtown, and midtown districts. So your ability to walk, bike, or take public transit to what you need and want can make a huge impact on the quality of life. Number four, Escondido. Offers what locals always say is the best climate in all of San Diego County. It's affordable living, it's suburban lifestyle, and traditional neighbors with the detached homes and the big front, big backyards, but areas also with higher crime rates in some of the communities, and some members also express concern over the overall school's performances. So instead of Escondido, maybe check out San Marcos or Poway. They could provide similar suburban lifestyles, but with some higher rated schools. All offer similar, yet also unique lifestyles. Commute and traffic times are always something to consider when living up off of the 78 corridor. And then five, finally, Spring Valley. Good luck finding a better secret perch in San Diego's South Bay forefront than those views off of Dictionary Hill. They span all the way down to the Mexico Islands in the south, all the way down to the downtown city lights in the north and all ocean in between. It's known as the neighborhood with the scenic views and the diversity, but some areas face challenges with crime and lack of local conveniences and amenities. In Lewis Spring Valley, just look up north, you got La Mesa, or just over tier to the west, you've got El Cajon. Noting some of the same challenges we mentioned above, but offer maybe some more amenities and some community activities. Now, my take, San Diego is a city of sun, fun, stunning scenery, but like any big city, it's got its mix of neighborhoods. Now, I personally loathe this premise of bad and avoid. I think it's BS, because after being a San Diego resident for over three decades now, there's incredibly unique and badass parts here in town. And I think some of these spots just get a bad rap. I believe each of the areas pointed out on this list have something cool to offer. So thanks for allowing me to help you navigate through them. Remember, choosing neighborhoods to highlight as areas to rethink in San Diego County, it requires careful consideration. And there's also some sensitivity. We're not here to defend anybody, right? So it's crucial to focus on the data and the reasons behind why these areas might be challenging for some residents to consider, such as high crime rates, lack of amenities, lower investment returns, rather than casting a negative light on the communities themselves. 
And also, all the data referenced here were sourced from online sites such as the greatschools.org for some of the school ratings and san diego.gov for some of the crime stats.